work of the Lord in our lives is performed according to God's unique purpose. Now the purpose is something that someone has in mind to get or do. The object for which something is made. Some of us, we really struggle with God turning up the heat to make us into what we are to be. Now there are trials that we go through. Everything has a purpose. God has a plan. God is decorating you. God is cleaning you. God is working on you for His good pleasure. He's got a plan for you. Now Isaiah chapter 29 verse 16, the Bible says, Surely you have things turned around. Shall the potter be esteemed as the clay? For shall the thing made say of him who made it, he did not make me? Or shall the thing formed say of him who formed it, he has no understanding? Isaiah continues to write, it's recorded in Isaiah 64 verse 8, But now, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you are the potter, and all we are the work of your hand. Remember, always remember that the potter is working in seclusion. He's always working away from distracting activities. How many times has God worked on you outside of the church? He's spoken to you in your automobile. He's spoken to you in the quiet of your home. He will take us out of our present situation. He'll put us in a solitary place. He'll turn up the heat and he'll work on the inner man. Don't ever forget, Joseph spent time in prison. Jesus had his season in the wilderness and he had his season in Gethsemane. We're all going to have our Gethsemanes. We're all going to have our times of seclusion. These out of the way, lonely, obscure places where we are molded and shaped into his image. of the Lord in our lives is performed according to God's potential. See, God has an incontestable sovereignty over us. How can we as God's children tell Him what He is going to do with our lives? He created us. Psalm 139 verse 13 says this, David realized that you created me in my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I'm reminded today of the gift. And those of you at home, maybe you've left the church because you saw God elevating some people and not elevating you. Or maybe you felt like God couldn't use you. We're all so unique. We're all so different. Why is it that some people want to plant churches and other people are afraid to do that? Why is it that some people want to go out and evangelize and other people are afraid to do that? But those people that are afraid or don't want to do that are incredibly good at hospitality, taking care of people that we win to the Lord. What is all that? That is the craftsman, the mighty craftsman putting the whole body together. I want you to imagine God walking up to his cabinet and opening up the cabinet and there's all different kinds of vessels. There's plates, there's pots, there's cups. And he can choose whomever he pleases to do the work. For those of you at home that are away from God, what you feel right now is Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is working on you. He's dealing with you. He's trying to moisten you because your heart is dry, it's cold. And that's what happens to people when they get around the things of God. They feel conviction. And I want to pray with you at home right now. If you're away from God, if you need forgiveness, you need the Lord to wash you, to cleanse you, I want you to pray with me out loud. Say, Dear Jesus, I ask you now to forgive me. Wash me, Jesus. I repent. Be my Savior. Be my Lord. And my very best friend. I want to be in the middle of your will. 
I want you to create in me something useful to you in your precious name. 